war has changed. Unfortunately, Sly getting a chance to start another heist hasn't. Hey everybody, TVG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we've basically done everything that we can to get this heist ready to go. We have stolen the Contessa's little gadget in the safe, which was the Rage Bomb. We got control of Neela's army, we have gotten the computer up in the re-education tower ready to go. So let's head on out with Sly, because we still got one more treasure we need to grab, and it is all the way back by Bentley's like first crypt mission. So I'm going to just cut myself over there one last time. I know I'm sure you're sick and tired of me cutting all over the place in Prague, but I promise you this is the last time we're going to do it. So I'm going to make my way over there, and we are going to get this final treasure and then start the heist proper. All right, I will see you in just a bit. Okay, we finally made it. There's Bentley's first crit. There's a flashlight guard just out on patrol. I don't know why I was acknowledging him. And also, here's another grave dedicated to poor Rocket. And also, here's our final treasure. So let's snag that. And as you can see, we got a bit more time than the crown treasure did. So we are just going to make our way back over here. Hopefully not have to deal with this. I'm going to have to... Yeah, he's coming this way. Great. Okay, well in that case, if that's how you want to play a game, I guess we'll have to take the long route. I'm game for it. I'm pretty light on my feet, so I don't think the, the security light should be able to see me. Just going to avoid this, avoid getting caught by the lights. There we go. And make our way back to the safe house proper. Excuse me, boys. Just coming through town. Don't mind me. Head on up here. With how many times those tanks have seen me and tried to kill me, I'm surprised that Neil hasn't pick, uh, pinpointed our safe house location. Alright, and as per tradition, we've got all our lovely treasures. We got the crystal vase, we've got the royal tiara, and we got the jewel crown. Let's sell all our loot at the very end of the mission, and we are pretty damn rich from that. Thank you. Alright. Now, as you can see in the background, and the multiple times I've had to run by it to, to get that crown, or TR, I should say, let's head back out with Murray once more, and let's get right. this heist underway. the castle's main gate and power down those searchlights. While you do that, Bentley and I will climb our way up to the top of the castle. Good luck. Good luck, he says. I, I know how to power down some gates. I just throw guards at them, right? That's the Murray way. I hope that general guy told the truth. Or this is gonna get ugly. Oh yeah! The lights are down, Bentley. Time to call in the cavalry. I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out. Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces! The castle defenses, defenses are down. Seize this opportunity for aggressive military action by pressing an attack on the castle. Charge for victory, for glory. That should do it. Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing. I don't want to drown. Why is it that I can actually see Bentley be a warmonger? Also, Bentley, why'd you shrink down to half your size? All right, just paraglide on over to the blimp. We actually don't even need to grab the rope hanging off it. You can just paraglide onto it proper. Hold on, pal. This could get rough. Just take care of the guards. Thankfully, if a guard hits you, you don't actually lose Bentley, so you don't have to worry. If you accidentally do take a couple hits, then you'll be fine. All right, let's head for the re-education tower. Mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! We may have crossbows and they have tanks, but damn it, we will give our lives to this cause. Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Okay, partner. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative! That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. Alright. 
This one's a bit different and also a bit harder. As you can see, we got ones that move around and shoot at you. Thankfully, they don't actually have a rotating turret on it. But they can still be a bit of a pain, especially if you're not paying attention to where they are. Just take care of these, take care of these, and just keep working on that firewall. Thankfully, we only have to take care of the firewall and uh, hit that node up there, and then we'll be good to go. And honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's annoying, but then again, what hacky mission isn't annoying. But still, it, it's doable. In fact, when we get close to the end, I might just brute force my way through there and just break through some of those nodes with uh, the hull of my little hacking drone. Because you can do that. Anytime you do slam into it, it actually gets rid of a node. Do that, and break on through to the other side. That should do it. Aha! I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up! And I mean all of them! My dear, you really should... <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, oh my god, you Carmelita, you aim as bad as I do. She was at point blank range. She was three feet in front of you, and you still missed her. Always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic, but I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, chaps. It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, wouldn't she be enough for the old bird? Ta-ta! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But... The plan! It, this wasn't in the plan. Don't worry, we still got a spare pair of the clockwork eyes. We can just take those and run with it. Yeah, they forgot to remove the clockwork eyes model off the mind shuffler, so... It, it's kind of awkward when you look up and you see that, oh, she's running away with an eye, and then also, you know, Bentley has the eye, but also there's an eye still stuck up onto the machine. So, once again, it's a Neela Taylor mission, however, this time you can swing away at her as much as you want because, you know, she's a villain now. Also, don't get caught up on the castle architecture. Unfortunately, even if you get up to her, it doesn't do anything. You can't whack the clockwork eye off her back, you just gotta keep up with her. See, like, right here, I'm swinging away and nothing's happening. Back here, give me that eye. You do kind of want to keep a distance because she's going to be swinging at anything and everything to try and slow you down. And how the hell did that tank get up onto there? Because that looks really narrow for it to drive on. Also, what is that guy even shooting at? He's just shooting at the air over there. But yeah, you want to keep your distance a bit from Neela because she will hit any of the explosive barrels that she runs by. Also, she'll break the guillotine blade and make it cause to fall down, so you definitely want to be careful there. Alright, we should be coming up on the final part of this little chase scene. Yep, up up here, and... How the hell did you get stuck over there? You really should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. Don't you dare! That eye is mine! It's mine! <sighs> Actually, Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turn and stay sharp. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, you said that, Bentley, but are you sure you can do this? I mean, you already have a pretty high body count as is. Do you need a higher one? 
So even though these are bombers, they are still going to be doing flybys to try and take you out and shoot you down. And even though we're on a, you know, a blimp, so this thing should be fly uh, dropping out of the sky pretty fast, uh, it does take a fair decent amount of punishment before we do get shot down. So you just want to do, it's basically the gunship mission all over again from Rajan's jungle. You just keep shooting this and just keep shooting any of the planes that are about ready to shoot at you. If you see a plane uh, flying by, then that's nothing. But if you see one making a beeline directly towards you, that means it's going to open fire and actually do some pretty significant damage to your blimp. Come over here, take this guy out. Harry, strike! Oh, we got one coming towards us. You can also damage the tanks down there, but unfortunately, you can't even destroy them. Physics? Yeah, I'm absolutely unloading onto the poor guy, and he's just like, oh, what's this? I'm going to shoot this castle. Actually, no, I'm going to shoot the very tip of this tower of a castle. Uh, they're just shooting all over the place. Come on, come on. Right in front of my guns. There we go. Actually, I don't even think I shot him down. I think he just crashed right into that tower right there. And we're done. Come back here, Contessa. That getaway blimp won't save you. Merciful Hades, Sly, can you read me? A carbolita shot out the guidance system, and the blimp's descending at a decidedly unsafe rate. I'm going down, down, down. Well, we just lost Bentley. That eye belongs to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short sighted fool! I've no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hands. Over your dead body, you will. Alright, so boss time with the Contessa. Her attacks are pretty straightforward. She has this little swiping attack, and she will also throw a couple of little spiders to come after you. These aren't actual spider bombs, so they will just uh, just jump and pounce on you. Really, she's super easy to avoid. All you gotta do is just keep sidestepping her, and her claw swipes will never hit you, period. Benley, how, how could you? How could you lose the eye? I mean, you still got the spare ones that were back in the re-education tower, right? But yeah, as I was saying, if you do decide that you don't want to fight the contest anymore and just jump right off the battlefield, she yanks your butt right back up here and wow, that's a lot of mini spiders. And you still have to fight her. But we're done. Enough. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education, and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof! I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! How's this thing work? What's this do? And now it reminds me of my first time driving a car. Carmelita took the eye, and she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks. Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. I like that she just had to strap the eye to the back of the tank. Keep on shelling her to stop that tank. All right, so this is actually, I would consider to be an actual hard part of this heist because... Tank controls in this are not the best, and Carmelita will try and bob and weave her way out of your shots, but thankfully we managed to snipe her at that last second. There have been times where she actually does escape, and I have to redo the tank section all over again. Well, you can, Sly. We'll all hook up at the rendezvous for a 
extraction. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. All right, round two, here we go. Now the Contessa, seeing as how she has the clockwork eye on her, even though you can't see it, she now has a new trick up her sleeve, which is her hypnosis attack. If she hits you with a hypnosis attack, Sly will basically become hypnotized for a brief period of time, and he will be unable to attack, and she, she will use its opportunity to get a free hit in. However, you still can move, and you can't, still can't avoid her, and actually, I'm going to take a hit and just see. That, that is actually really creepy looking at Sly's eyes like that. Just going to keep avoiding these guys. If she does drop a spider uh, pod onto the ground, then... And then use the hypnotizing, you get hit by it, and it's probably going to be a lot tougher. However, we basically have her dead to rights this time, and we're done. Mother? Mother? You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. Hey, don't you touch that Ah. Well, we took out the Contessa right in front of her children. I say this was a mission well accomplished. Things hadn't gone exactly to plan, but the Contessa was beaten and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crimes she committed while working for Interpol. Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Neela, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. I tried to put it all out of my mind. This claw business was spiraling out of control and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. I like that they're a little disguised to get out of the city. Murray has the most complex disguise out of all of them because, you know, it's a complete and total disguise. Bentley just has that spy newspaper thing where he just has eye holes cut out of it. And Sly, I just put a blanket over him. No one will ever see him. So, with episode 5 wrapped up and up to 100%, it's time for me to hop back into the Contessa boss fight because she actually does have two special pieces of dialogue if you lose to her in both of her fights. Now, with all that done, next time on Sly 2 Band of Thieves, we are going to head off into Episode 6 and make our way up to the Great White North to see if we truly have what it takes to tame the Iron Horse in my favorite episode in this entire series. See you all next time. Later.